Appalachian Wireless is Appalachian Advantage. Unlimited text, talk, and two gigs of data for as low as $45 a month. Or if you like, get five lines on eight gigs of data for just $145 a month. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. 20-year-old Mandy Potter of Kentucky 805 in the Haymond community in Letcher County was arrested Monday following what police discovered was a bizarre string of interconnected incidents. Letcher County Sheriff's Deputy Alicia Congleton said first responders responded to a fire call at Potter's residence Monday. The small fire was quickly extinguished. Later in the day, first responders were called back to a report of a knife attack at Potter's residence. The very same day, I responded back to the same residence uh, of a complaint that the, a female living there by the, main, by the name of Mandy Potter had been cut with a knife by an unknown male subject wearing a black mask. Both incidents Monday followed a string of social media posts making threats against family members. Congleton said the investigation indicated that it was actually Potter who was responsible for all three incidents, setting the fire herself, cutting herself, and hacking her mother's Facebook account and posting the threatening messages. It was pretty evident after the after the interview that uh, this individual had actually cut her own self. Um, there was no man in a black mask. Uh, none of these things were true. And uh, eventually Miss Potter did admit for whatever reason she's done all this just for attention. She accessed her mother's Facebook page, uh, acted like she was some kind of hacker and that she had uh, posted all these things on Facebook. Not only did she act like the hacker, but she actually followed through with some of the complaints uh, or some of the threats that she'd made. She set her own house on fire. Uh, her statement was this, that she'd done it for attention. Uh, not only did she set her own house on fire, but she also made superficial cuts to herself to make it look like somebody had attacked her, which also wasn't true. Even though she'd done this all for attention, she took a lot of resources away from people who may have needed them, and, and that was explained to her very thoroughly. Mandy Potter was arrested and charged with third-degree arson for allegedly setting the fire and falsely reporting an incident for allegedly claiming someone had attacked her with a knife. Mandy Potter has since been released on bond from the Letcher County Jail. In Letcher County, Chris Anderson, EKB News.